you like. In this world, there are so many different kinds of breakfast. Is there anyone in our class love to eat French toast? Uh, my favorite breakfast is French toast. I will teach you how to make the easiest way to make French toast at home. It is served for two people, and you can share it with your family or with your friends. For supply, bread is the most important thing that we need. And there are many choices to make this French toast. We can use wheat or white bread. Some people think that wheat bread is more healthy and more nutrition than the white bread. So you can choose which bread that you want according to our cases. We need a pair of scissors or knife to cut the bread into pieces. And we need a bowl, a pair of chopsticks, a plate, and a pan during the making this uh, French toast. And also we need a bottle of oil, a bottle of peanut butter, two eggs, and unsalted milk, unsalted butter, and a can of constant milk. Because of I didn't find a constant milk in the shop, so I just buy the evaporated milk. It is kind of a little bit not sweet than the condensed one, but I think it's also okay. After seeing what you need, it's time to learn how to make this French toast. Um, for the bread, you need to buy the square one. So for me, I love to eat the white bread, so I choose the right, uh, white bread. You can cut into uh, two pieces, six pieces or nine pieces. And I cut it into six pieces, so about this size. So you need to uh, cut it into this size and and spread some peanut butter on it. Here, spread it. And spread it uh, to the whole bread. So, and also cover it with another piece that with some peanut butter. Uh, you need to cut it, your bread before you spread the peanut butter because if you cut it uh, without doing this process, the peanut butter will just come out from the edge and when you uh, deep fry it, it will be burned easily. And after you cut it into this part and spread it over, you can put it into the egg, into the egg mixture. The egg mixture is a uh, crack to egg and you twist it and you need to form it like a bubble liquid form and use a chopstick to put the uh, bread and dip it both sides. And almost just like this both sides. And other than that, you need to preheat the pan uh, in a high warm, high heat temperature, and you need to put some uh, oil to deep fry it because I think using butter is more smells more good. So I will using butter today. <coughs> you just make a uh, cover of the whole pan. And when you melt it, the butter, it will whole pan will be kind of oily and kind of bright. <coughs> and after you preheat the pan, you need to get a whole use of chopstick to hold one of the bread, and you put it onto the pan and let it uh, deep fry it. So just be careful and look at this pen because <coughs> sometimes the bread will be get burned easily. And while you are making this bread, you will smell good. <coughs> and about and because of the time being so I'm not going to show you how to fry this. But after you fry it, it will kind of golden brown. <coughs> so after you make this beautiful French toast and you put it on the plate, you can place about 10 grams of butter on the top of the 
uh, French toast. So 10 grams is not that many. So I think it's about um, this amount. Just only this amount. And you put it on the top because the French toast is covered a bit for a long time already. If you cover it uh, just after, if you put the butter just after you cook it, it will, the butter will be melt into the French toast. After you put the butter on the top, uh, you can put the condensed milk uh, on the top of the French toast. Because it is not a uh, condensed milk, so it will be kind of water, but I think it's still okay. So according to the panel, there are many different types of French toast. So if you don't like butter and peanut butter, you can try to use syrup or uh, fresh food. And if, the, if people who like chocolate or dessert, you can put Nutella or spread it and spread over the bread. And you can put ice cream on the side. And some people will also put some nuts on them, but this according to your tastes. There are numerous kind of combinations to make your French toast. And don't hesitate to try to make your first French toast by starting with the bread. So hope you like my green kind of friends. Thank you.